Hi, I'm Stephen Power, photographer and photography teacher based in County Limerick in Ireland. This is part of a series of video tutorials on my favourite piece of digital imaging software, Lightroom 3. I'm going to look at various aspects of the program um, and in this one I'm going to jump right in at the deep end and look at the lens correction panel which is in the develop module. It's important to say that at the time of recording which is the 11th of August 2010 I'm using version 3.2 of the software which is still not being released for full automatic download but is available from Adobe Labs dot com um, as a release candidate. This basically means that the software, although it's been tested, is still uh, in need of some feedback from those of us in the real world um, before it's uh, available for full automatic download. So if you're listening to this um, in August 2010 um, and you still haven't got it uh, you can go to adobelabs.com and pick up the version there. Most lenses, even the very expensive ones, have some problems inherent in them. They may have uh, what's called uh, geometric distortion, meaning that they're not absolutely or straight or the images that they produce are not straight and flat and level they may have chromatic aberration um, or some other problems uh, to do with um, blurring and distortion around the edges of the image the lens correction panel um, is designed um, in part at least to solve some of these problems and it's actually really easy to use it's divided into two parts the profile section and the manual transform section if we look uh, first of all at the profile section um, it's highlighted um, by default um, all we need to do is to solve most of the problems that our lenses will produce is click the box that says enable profile corrections and then under lens profile we look for the make of our camera um, and the model of the lens that we're using um, for the image that you can see here um, it was shot on a Canon and just happens to have been shot on the Canon 24 to 105 f4 L IS uh, USM zoom so um, actually as you saw it was automatically um, selected by the program um, but if it isn't you can just click the drop down menu and find your lens there version 3.2 of Lightroom 3 has um, an extended list of lens and camera profiles in it so it should be possible particularly if you're using Canon or Nikon Nikon as we say over here um, cameras to find it um, you'll also find profiles for Pentax Samsung Schneider Sigma Sony Tamron um, and Zeiss So basically what happens, okay, well if you watch the image that I have on screen here, I'll uncheck the enable profiles correction box and the image will go back to the way it was. Um, now I'll check the box 
and you did you see that there was a, just a slight movement in the image and there was a little bit of um, what you might call some barrel distortion over this part of the image which automatically flattened out when the correct camera make and lens model were um, found by the program and the profile was um, corrected just do it again uncheck the enable profile correction box slight barrel distortion in the middle not much check it again bang it's gone okay so that's the first part really of the of the panel nice and simple um, enable profile corrections find your camera and your lens and the program will do the rest if your profile isn't here isn't found you can go to Adobe Labs um, and download um, a special program that will allow you to upload your own profiles to the program so basically go to adobelabs.com and look for the camera and camera and lens profile creator tool there. okay before we um, go into the manual transform section of the lens corrections panel I just want to go back up here into the basic tool and do some um, basic uh, corrections on the image um, so I'm going to use uh, the crop uh, overlay tool which is uh, our shortcut if you want to get straight into it um, and as we can see the I was probably s slightly uh, tipsy when I took this picture um, and it's fairly tilted so I'm just gonna um, select the uh, straighten tool which looks like a spirit level click that and find um, a straight edge so I'm gonna take the, the top of the uh, coffee shop there um, click and drag let go and it should straighten the image reasonably well it doesn't look to me as if it's absolutely perfect so I'm just going to left click outside of the crop uh, and then click and let go again so we've got it reasonably straight now um, it might need tidying up slightly it also looks a bit underexposed so um, using the exposure slider and the alt or the option key I'm gonna see whether I can just brighten it up slightly so I'm going to click the Alt key on the PC or the Option key on the Mac and then left click on the exposure slider and you can see immediately um, the picture goes black apart from um, a few bits of highlight the, um, which is the highlight clipping warning um, I'm going to move the exposure slightly up just until we get a little bit of highlight clipping just where the highlight clipping starts is where I'm going to stop um, and I'm going to go to the blacks slider same thing again hold down the alt key on the PC or the option key on the Mac left click the black slider and just move up until um, the highlight clipping warnings appear again not very far maybe just one from five to seven maybe there, okay so there's the image um, you might want to do some more uh, detail tweaking um, 
maybe just move it I think that image looks because there's a lot of white in it it's going to be a, maybe about a, a third under so we've got it reasonably straight um, I'll just have another little tweak of that um, we've got it reasonably well exposed and so now we're going to go back to the lens correction panel because um, we've got a very basic problem going on here what happens is when you stand too close to a building um, and you uh, tilt your camera upwards you'll get some um, vertical distortion and if you look at this image it's not too bad it's not obvious really but that building is slightly leaning away um, so if we click the manual uh, button in the lens correction panel and then go to vertical transform um, and move the slider in a minus way you can see that the image now is coming towards us if we go a long way to to the left we get a really distorted image um, it takes a little while on my system for the effect to appear so I kind of move the slider um, and wait this is probably because I'm not uh, running the software with enough RAM but if you do get that problem uh, move the slider wait for the change and then move again so I'm going to try a vertical um, transform change of about minus six okay there we are minus six it looks about right okay so that's that's an important manual change that we can make we can just sort of straighten the image um, we might feel that we might want to slightly change it to the right or the left um, in this case I don't think we need to but we can by moving the horizontal slider we can move the, the, the whole image on the horizontal if we don't want to I'll just uh, double click the the name of the slider and it, it zeroes it out again um, one important thing uh, to know here is if we do move the image too far one way or the other we'll get some cropping on the edge now if you felt that that change was right um, which I don't think it is um, we can then remove this cropped area automatically now by clicking constrain crop and that's now changed the image um, it's basically cropped the image and taken away the grey area that's not what we want so I'm going to put it back to minus six just for the purposes of this demonstration um, so we, we now have an image that has been corrected for um, geometric distortion and for uh, visual vertical uh, distortion as well which is usually caused by holding the lens at a as an angle um, when photographing a tall building basically by tilting uh, the lens the lens correction panel is a very useful new tool in Lightroom 3 um, and I hope you will um, be able to test it out for yourselves uh, very soon